Good afternoon, and uh, welcome to the presentation of our very important University Board of Overseers Excellent in Research Award. I am Joel Bloom, uh, president of NGIT. It is my pleasure to greet those who are with us here on campus and those viewers who have joined us on the internet. A recording of today's ceremony may also be viewed later on the NGIT website. This year, the medal signifies exceptional accomplishment as a researcher will be presented to distinguished professor of physics, Hyman Wang. Professor Wang's achievements as a scientist who has worked to expand our understanding of solar physics clearly exemplify the spirit of the award first presented by the overseers in 2008. Professor Wang is esteemed among his colleagues at NGIT and recognized internationally for substantial contributions to knowledge in his area of expertise. Contributions significant for advancing basic solar science and for promoting greater awareness of how solar phenomena can impact key aspects of our technological civilization here on Earth. But before we continue with our ceremony, in honor of Professor Wang, I would like to acknowledge the members of the NGIT Board of Overseers. If you'd please rise, the overseers. Thank you. This um, prize was uh, initiated by the overseers uh, under the leadership of uh, Emil Herkett and Phil Rinaldi, two of our emeritus chairs of our Board of Overseers. Both of them happen to be here with us today. Can we at least get a wave from each of the gentlemen? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I think uh, Emma was reading ahead in the notes here. <laughs> I uh, would also like to extend a very warm welcome. He has been with us here all day. Uh, our Vice Chair of our Board of Trustees, Dr. Vincent DiCaprio. Welcome, Vince, thank you. We are also honored to have four distinguished past recipients of this Overseer's Excellent in Research. David Rothenberg, David, please. Thank you. My former gym partner, Chaim Grable. Chaim, please. <laughs> Reggie O'Faro, please. Reggie, thank you. Sam Mitra, Sam, thank you. We also welcome, is Bert Kimmelman here? Where's Bert? Oh, I don't think he's here, so I'll skip over that part. Thank you, but he is the recipient of the Overseas College Research Award in Liberal Arts uh, for 2015. Um, the quality of scope of research at NGIT makes selecting the individual we recognize today a singular challenge. So it is appropriate to acknowledge the intending, attending members of the committee who have accepted this challenge and devoted considerable time and very thoughtful, careful thought to making the final this choice. Chair Emil Heckert, again Emil, please. Thank you. Uh, Vince Namoli will do all this. Vince, please. Uh, Phil Rinaldi. Greg Sauda, where's Greg? There he is, thank you, Greg. Our NGIT Provost and Senior Vice President, Fadi Deek. The uh, Vice Provost for Research and Development, uh, Research, uh, Atam Dewan. Thank you, Atam. And our President and Chief Executive Officer, also Senior Vice President here at the University, his NGI title crept in there, was Don Sebastian. Don. Thank you, Don. Each year in selecting the recipient of Overseer's Excellent in Research Award, we honor all at NGIT who share the same dedication to pioneering inquiry across an expanding spectrum of frontiers. By honoring Professor Wang, we honor every member of the NGIT community, Wang, I'm sorry, who is aspiring to the highest level of discovery and increase of essential knowledge. Now please join me in welcoming Vice Provost Atam Dewan to the podium. 
Atum will tell us more about this outstanding professor's work. Thank you, Atum. Thank you very much, President Bloom. It is indeed an honor for me to participate in this special recognition for Professor Wong. However, I'm sure Professor Wong would not mind if I first say a few words to acknowledge another great leader, one who has had a very important role in the evolution of research at NJIT. Through his efforts, there has been substantial growth in our research programs with an emphasis on quality that has motivated every researcher to work forward the same success for which we recognize Professor Wong today. Please join me in well-earned applause for Dr. Donald Sebastian, until recently NGIT's Senior Vice President for Research and Development. In the past 15 years that Don led research at NJIT, our research and development efforts grew to over $110 million, placing NJIT fifth among all polytechnic universities in the country, and fourth among all universities in patent productivity. Don is now president and CEO of NJIT's New Jersey Innovation Institute, which is applying the many resources our university offer to technological and economical challenges identified by industry partners for the benefit of the people of New Jersey. I know that Don's talents will help the institute achieve results as impressive as those of our research programs. Please join me in another round of applause for Don. <laughs> But now, what can I say about Professor Wong? Almost everything the all night or all evening. He has accomplished so much that is significant. A leading authority on fluctuations of the sun's magnetic field that give rise to solar flares and space weather. Professor Wong is the chief scientist for NJIT's Big Bear Solar Observatory and director of the Space Weather Research Laboratory at NJIT's Center for Solar Terrestrial Research. He had a key role in NJIT's acquisition of Big Bear from Caltech in 1997 and its subsequent research efforts. He has secured more than 60 federal grants worth more than $25 million as a principal investigator or a co-principal investigator. He has been funded as a guest investigator for all of NASA's recent major solar missions. That is some testimony. Professor Wong and his colleagues recently produced the first high resolution images of the magnetic structures known as solar flux ropes at their point of origins in the sun's chromosphere, allowing scientists to distinguish between relatively mild manifestations and those severe enough to cause a space weather. These observations provide an unprecedented glimpse into the complex dynamics of the sun's atmosphere as well as insights into massive eruptions on the sun's surface. In 2013, Professor Wong was appointed by NASA to lead the flare focus team uh, for Living with a Star, the agency's program dedicated to studying space weather that affects the Earth and the interplanetary medium. He also had, uh, he also had an international network composed of nine observatories around the world that constantly monitor the sun. In the course of his career, Professor Wang has served as a referee for funding agencies, such as the National Science Foundation and NASA, for major journals, such as Nature, the Astrophysical Journal, and the Journal of Geophysical Research, and on the Science Advisory Committee for some of the world's most powerful solar telescopes. He has authored some 250 peer-reviewed journal articles with more than 6,000 citations, 
He has mentored more than 20 PhD students and trained more than 20 postdoctoral researchers, 10 of whom who have obtained tenure track uh, faculty positions are at the universities around the world. Four of his students have won the prestigious career award from the National Science Foundation to support their research. Professor Wong's accomplishments certainly merit the honor we bestow today. The video we will now see presents more about his extraordinary work on a very distant frontier. I'm Dr. Hemi Wan. I'm a chief scientist of Big Bear Solar Observatory. And I uh, got my PhD from California Institute of Technology. Caltech decided to find a partner to operate at this place, so NGIT was chosen. I moved to New Jersey in 95 and become a faculty member in New Jersey. The solar physics research and education program at NGIT it's regarded as number one in the U.S., probably number one in the whole world. It's far away, it's a long commute, but it's a unique facility. It is uh, the biggest uh, solar telescope in the world. Its diameter is 1.6 meter. It's in a lake area, it uh, doesn't have much pollution, the weather is good, and there's a forest, but there is some invisible beauty that we don't see, which is so-called observing condition. The astronomers give a term called a seeing. It's a way to evaluate how small the turbulence is above us. So the Big Bear has a very minimal turbulence, so that's why we can see the sun very clearly. Space weather, it's the effect of the solar eruption on the Earth that affect our daily life. We do both uh, pure science to understand the physics of the solar activity, and uh, then we apply our knowledge to predict space weather. Every day we forecast what is the probability that a solar flare is produced. Sometimes I call the solar flare as a kind of earthquake on the sun. The sun it has magnetic fields. The magnetic fields could have positive or negative polarities. But if you try to shift the, the two foot point of that magnet, it's like an earthquake. You're going to build a magnetic stress. That's a magnetic energy. Just like the earthquake, you cannot stretch that forever. At a certain critical point, the magnetic energy is released, that is the solar flare. The most serious problem is the solar flares can produce another eruption we don't see. It's a regular observation. It's called a corona mass ejection. It's going to produce a huge amount of mass. Part of that is moving to the Earth, and some of that mass will also carry magnetic fields with it. So when magnetic fields interact with the Earth's magnetic fields, it creates a strong current. So that can do all kinds of damages. It can affect the safety of astronauts. It can interrupt the telecommunication. It can destroy the transformers for the power supply. It could even affect transportation of oil. We know the solar flare, but nobody ever know uh, the fine details of the solar flares. Uh, our, our team, in some recent paper, including the One Nature Communication papers you read, we really, it's the first time we look at, at uh, the uh, structure of the solar flare in such a detail to understand the magnetic topology of it. As we get more and more sophisticated observation, we can see more details of the sun. You understand the structure of it. You can look at the detail of the surface of the sun. You cannot look at the surface of any particular star. 
the star is just one single point. And here you can look at very much the detail. It's now my privilege to introduce John Seawalt, uh, a 1959 alumnus of our university and chairman of the Board of Overseers. He will join President Bloom in presenting the 2015 NJIT Overseers Excellence in Research Medal to Professor Wong. Thank you, Atom. Uh, this year, I have the honor of serving my alma mater as chairman of the Board of Overseers. I also have the great honor today of taking part in this presentation of the Overseers Excellence in Research Medal to Professor Wong. My wife and I graduated from an exceptional school, Newark College of Engineering, more than 50 years ago. Since then, the reputation of the university now known as New Jersey Institute of Technology, has grown worldwide, increasingly enhanced by the brilliance of researchers such as Professor Wong. Professor Wong's research may quantify how solar eruptions affect the Earth's atmosphere, creating critical impact, as you've heard in the video, in telecommunications, aviation, and power grids. His long-term study of the sun is also related to the solar influence on the Earth's climate affecting all of us. And so, <clears throat> President Bloom um, and I will uh, ask you, Professor Wong, to come forward. a little bit uh, nervous because this is not PowerPoint uh, that I give to, <laughs> to students on uh, uh, presentations. Okay, uh, Professor, uh, President Broom, Dr. Daiwan, uh, Mr. So Hose, and Board of the uh, Overseas and Board of Trustees, family, friends, and colleagues. Um, thank you so much for attending this event. I really I'm really honored to receive this prestigious award. I started my career as assistant professor at NGIT it's exactly 20 years ago. Um, I witnessed the development of this wonderful university. Not only the beautiful appearance uh, of the campus and also like uh, the, uh, the uh, membership in the Division I in the sports team, uh, more importantly, uh, it's uh, advances in the academic, in the research, education, and the economy development. So this uh, is uh, making uh, NGIT uh, it's the, the leading university in the country. Uh, I'm pr uh, proud of, to be a part of it and appreciate the support I have received. It's a wonderful uh, support. I received us from so many people. And I also today know there is um, one new uh, development 
we, for NGIT. There's a groundbreaking ceremony just a couple of hours ago uh, for the new building of the uh, biological science and engineering. So um, as I said, the uh, most important thing is the people I've been uh, working with. I um, uh, like to thank uh, some of them, but there are too many people that I feel thankful. So I apologize, uh, probably I will forget somebody. Uh, the, uh, first, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Dea Gary. Uh, it's not only he nominated me, I, and, uh, but I really uh, appreciate uh, my collaboration, friendship with him for over 30 years. Uh, when I was, uh, uh, when I entered a, uh, in uh, Caltech as a graduate student, he was a postdoc. I just uh, remember in the Dr. Zirin's uh, group, we share a big computer called a Sundog, which is, uh, as a whole group, share the computer, which is less powerful than a simple laptop today. <laughs> so uh, at that time, I benefited a lot from the science, so he taught me a lot of things about how to do science and he uh, uh, taught me how to do computer programming. Uh, and the, uh, he uh, helped me to write my first uh, funding proposal. So let me uh, win the uh, a prestigious NASA Compton Fellowship. So that's the uh, start of the, my success of the proposal writing. Um, so I'm, uh, they, I'm very grateful to you. Uh, and also he's a role model for many of us, uh, he carries a lot of Caltech tradition to NGIT. And also, he's building a very well-known, famous observatory that's a, a radio solar observatory, which has a major extension. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Provost Fadi Dick. Uh, he actually, during most of my time at NGIT, he was the Dean of College of Science and Liberal Arts. So I, uh, I don't remember how many times I visited him. He always welcomed that I visited him. Uh, so um, he helped me a lot for the, uh, my research. Um, and also I uh, appreciate that he is uh, my Christian brother. He, um, I feel that he's a role model for Christian. So we always talk about the, um, uh, the Christian moral standard, and also uh, we, uh, how we uh, face the challenge, as, as well as uh, have a thankful heart for what we have and what we achieve. So uh, thank you, and uh, Fadi. Um, I uh, like to thank Dr. Dan Sebastian. Uh, again, during my, most of my career year, he was a senior vice president for research. So he gave me a lot of resources. So um, the uh, Dr. Dewan uh, just uh, mentioned that wonderful achievement, what he had. Uh, I um, appreciate that he uh, established the lab I'm directing. The name was given by him, the Space Weather Research Lab. Um, the, I uh, really appreciate the faculty members uh, in the Center for Solar Terrestrial Research I especially thank uh, Professor uh, Fairgoody for his vision and leadership in uh, the, uh, transferring the uh, wonderful observatory, the Big Bear Solar Observatory from Caltech to NGIT. And also his leadership in building this world's largest solar telescope that benefits this generation and also next generation. So, uh, I um, uh, also thank Dr. Lou Lance Roddy. So I very often have questions for him. He seems to have an answer for every question I ask. <laughs> uh, I uh, thank Dr. Uh, 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 Girard, Andy Girard. He's a current director of the center. And he probably knows that I back him often to uh, get resources I need to run the program. I also thank uh, Professor Wen Da Chao for his real hard work at Big Bear Solar Observatory to make the instrumentation, made this place really to be first class. So uh, 
And uh, uh, I also uh, like to thank the uh, wonderful staff members at Big Bear Solar Observatory. Some of them I know from at Caltech time, uh, John Vasica, Jeff Nuno. Uh, some are the wonderful addition when NGIT took over. Uh, I uh, thank the supporting uh, I received from uh, 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 the department and the center, the Christine, Felicia, Shara, and Erica. So they are really that we cannot achieve without their help. And I thank the uh, colleagues uh, and the physics uh, department uh, research faculty. They are really the key uh, researchers uh, that make this uh, center uh, running. So they achieved us so much. And I also thank my students. Some of them are here today. Uh, lastly, but I think it's most importantly, I thank my loving family especially uh, my wife, Jackie, for her love and support. To support my research um, and take care of two kids, uh, she quitted her well-respected full-time job. Um, so she gave me all the love and support she can. So I really uh, uh, feel honored to have her uh, for my whole life. And I also thank my two lo uh, lovely, uh, lovely sons, Ben and Josh, for their understanding that they is busy life and uh, the frequent absence from home. Uh, so the uh, uh, Ben and Josh probably are watching this from the campus of MIT and Princeton. Uh, I love you. Uh, and I continue to enjoy working with our current uh, leadership, with our president, with our chair, Dr. Serenke, uh, with uh, our uh, new dean, Kevin Belfield, and uh, new uh, vice <laughs> provost uh, for research, Dr. De Wang. So you know I'm starting to bug you guys often now, right? So uh, finally, I uh, just described the, uh, my uh, research here very briefly. So it's uh, shown uh, in the introduction. Uh, the, uh, as Dr. De Wang said in one of the meetings, solar physics is a combination of uh, basic science and applied science. Uh, uh, as we now all know, it should have a major impact from the solar activity to Earth's uh, uh, atmosphere. And also there's another point is a lot of technologies were developed uh, from uh, solar physicists, like uh, advanced uh, uh, filters and uh, detectors. Uh, the best example is so-called adaptive optics. And also the, um, uh, some image processing techniques that are uh, used in the computer science and the medical imaging. So, uh, again, I thank you so much for this wonderful uh, evening, and also especially thank Colin for uh, organizing it. Uh, so God bless and thank you. Congratulations, Professor Wang. It's now my privilege to introduce Emil Herkut, Chair Emeritus of the Board of Overseers and Chair of the Excellence in Research Committee. Well. Professor Wang, congratulations. It's my own great privilege to participate in the initiating the Overseer's Excellence in Research Award, and for eight years to share in the recognition of, the, of talent that places NJIT among the world's preeminent educational and research institutions. 
The expanding spectrum of research at NJIT continues to amaze me. We have honored those who work with matter in minute dimensions at the level of nanometers. As we do today, we have also called wide attention to those whose research is focused on the most distant reaches of our solar system. But as diverse as the activities on the spectrum of investigation may be, there are vital common denominators. All who pursue research at NJIT are engaged in the exciting venture of increasing knowledge about the world around us, about the universe around us. No matter where this journey of discovery may lead, the knowledge to be gained is inherently valuable for its own sake. Yet in adding to our fund of basic understanding, we are also building an inventory of knowledge that often has practical applications for making life better today and whose potential for improvement may be discerned in the years ahead. Perhaps the utility of what we find in many fields will be more apparent to our young men and women beginning their studies at NJIT or to children just learning about the wonders of science when they too embark on careers in science and technology. All of the research underway at NJIT in every field is an investment in this positive future. To close, I would like to express my appreciation to all who have once again made this ceremony a success, and I look forward to joining you next year. Now let's give Professor Wang a final round of applause. This brings us to the conclusion of our formal program. I invite those with us on campus to extend your personal congratulations to Professor Wong at the reception prepared in his honor at the University Club. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you.